Now we are ready to look at um, how to solve circuits when you have them in parallel. So that means that the electrons have a choice on where they can flow. So they can come out of the battery, they can go through the branch with the R1 and come back, or they can go through the branch with R2 and come back, or R3 and come back, and, or R4 and come back. Um, so one thing to remember is because it is allowed to go through any branch, we are seeing the fact that my Vs are all the same, but my I's now add. All right. um, we also have a little bit of a difference here with um, how the equivalent resistance formula is, is, is made. It's 1 over my equivalent resistance is equal to the sum of 1 over my individual resistances. Um, so we will end up using that at the end um, to find out the total equivalent resistance of this particular circuit. But for now, we're going to go ahead and look at the fact that once you have two out of three columns, um, just like before, we are then able to solve for um, that third column. So in this particular case, we have uh, component one first. We have the fact that um, our... R1 is equal to 10, and my current is equal to 0.3. So V is equal to I, R. That voltage, again, is going to be what we're solving for initially right here. So V3 is equal to current 3 times resistance 3 is equal to 0.3 amps times 10 ohms gives me three volts. As a result, we are then able to find not only the voltage across uh, resistor one, but actually across all of the resistors in our, our circuit, which goes ahead and takes care of a lot of stuff in one fell swoop. Now that we have the voltage all the way down, we actually are then able to solve for the currents through branches two and three. So using Ohm's law, we have the fact that the current through 2 is going to equal the voltage through 2 divided by the resistance of 2. We're going to say the same thing for 3. So current of 3 is equal to voltage of 3. Oops. Divided by resistance of 3. i got some typos over here. Um, and again, we're just going to plug and chug. So my voltage through 2 is that 3 volts divided by 3 ohms tells me I have a current of 1 amp. Whoops, right out of space. Alright, um, and we have a voltage of 3 volts and 5 amps. Point six amps. Hold on. Oops, sorry. Three volts divided by five ohms gives me point six amps. I apologize. All right, so that goes ahead and answers um, what we have going on here. One amp point six. <clears throat> All right, um, we can go ahead and find the total current. All right, and the total current. And our total current is I one plus I two plus I three plus I four. That gives us a total current of two point four amps. All right, so we are able to find uh, the total resistance from there. However, I'm going to go ahead and find resistance for, for 4 first. 
and my resistance for 4 is going to equal that the voltage of 4 divided by the current of 4. Remember the voltage is the same for all of them, so that's that 3 volts. The current I found through, I was given through 4 is half an amp. Um, so we do get the fact that the resistance for 4 is 6 um, ohms. All right. From here, we're now able to do our equivalent resistance uh, check. So we are um, going to do that two ways. We're going to use Ohm's law, like I said, and then do the equivalent um, resistance equation for the circuit just to make sure that we get all of the correct numbers. So we're going to start with Ohm's law because it's actually the little bit simpler um, version. And the fact that um, my R is equal to my voltage divided by my current. Remember, my total voltage is the same. It's at 3 volts. My total current we found was the 2.4 um, amps. So my R total we're looking for is 1.3 ohms. Notice that this uh, resistance is a lot smaller than any of the individual resistances that we have in our problem. Um, and that is because the current has a lot of choices in which it can flow, which paths it can flow down. So it's a lot easier for your current to get from one, from one side of the battery to the other through your circuit. So um, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we get that number again. So one, oops, one over my equivalent resistance, or my total resistance is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3 plus one over R4. Um, so that then gives me one over my equivalent resistance is equal to one over 10 ohms plus one over three ohms plus one over five ohms plus one over six ohms. All told, this gives us um, four over five ohms. But remember, this is my one over my equivalent resistance. I'm not interested in one over the equivalent resistance. I'm interested in the equivalent resistance itself. So what do we do to get the answer? We flip it. So our equivalent is equal to 5 ohms over 4 or 1.25 1.3 ohms.